What's up guys? Welcome to my review of the Rovic RV1D Disc Golf Cart. Big thank you to Proactive Sports Disc Golf for sending me this thing to check out. Go to PASDiscGolf.com to check out the website. You can order one of these for yourself, as well as all the accessories. So I've had a chance to test this thing. I've only actually gotten one full round in with it, but I still wanted to report back to you guys with my findings and let you know how it worked out. I'm going to be showing you the same visuals I showed in my initial video, just because it's a relatively difficult cart to film. And uh, I didn't really see any purpose in refilming all the same stuff again for this review, nor making you watch a static image. So we're just going to look at the uh, footage I already filmed for this cart while I talk about some of my experiences with it. All in all, I think it worked out pretty well. It folds up nice and small. It opens up quite easily. You can set it up quickly. It takes a couple of minutes to hang your bag on it but it's really not that big of a deal i like how small it folds up to uh to transport it you do have to take the seat off if you have the optional seat that's shown in the video you have to take the seat um off of the top of the shaft of the seat to get it to fold up completely but it's just one little spring loaded button it's not that big of a deal other than that it folds up really nice and small easy expands relatively quickly all you gotta do is throw your bag on there attach the straps and you're off to the races um, one of the things I forgot to show you guys that I'll show you a little later is that the actual umbrella holder has a dedicated spot for you to clip it onto there and it also has an umbrella holder built into the cart where you can strap in the handle and put the point of the uh, of the umbrella the tip of the umbrella down into there so you can have the umbrella attached to the cart all the time out of your way and if it starts raining you just throw in the uh, holder screw it in throw your umbrella on there keep your cart covered um, and you're ready to go one of the things that I'm a little bit hesitant about with this cart is that there is quite a bit of plastic on it um, in the construction of the cart it's kind of just the nature of the beast for this kind of product. There's no way to really do it without having um, kind of plastic or polymer parts in there somewhere. Um, it would be way too heavy and expensive if it was all aluminum or something like that. I still am a little bit hesitant about the long-term durability of it just because there's a lot of moving pieces to allow it to open and close and um, several of those are plastic. I didn't see any issues with any of it out there on the course. It seems to be just fine. I played around with it out at Rooster Rock West. The ground is, it's relatively open, which is what I wanted to um, test it there, but the ground is not very level. There's a ton of sticks and branches all the time because of the winds in the gorge knock branches down onto the ground. It didn't have too much trouble rolling over them. It wobbles a little bit over uneven terrain. You will feel the the wheels kind of move up and down as they kind of shift up and over the terrain where something with my um zuka easy cart since it's all steel it's basically like a little steel box with wheels on it um it doesn't really move at all it kind of just drags over the top of it with this cart you can kind of feel the wheels ride up over the different uneven parts of the terrain and uh it has an interesting feel when you're pushing it that's the main difference that i noticed when testing this thing is that obviously you're pushing it the cart that i'm more used to i'm actually just dragging it behind me as i walk so it takes a little bit of getting used to to steer it and stuff but it's really not that big of a deal i like the fact that you can just kind of push it and let it go and it's totally fine it'll stand up on its own so i like that quite a bit it really doesn't um, have any issues in terms of that and all in all it rolled quite well um, the only real downside i see with this cart other than the use of plastic in the construction is that i really don't see it functioning very well in courses that have elevation I'm not really a fan of using a cart in any type of wooded golf, um, especially when you're dealing with a lot of elevation. This cart in particular, I would not want to try to take into the woods, especially if there are hills involved. Um, it may be able to get the job done, but it's quite large. Um, it's very wide, and I'm not sure how it would work trying to get it up and down hills, um, steep hills that is. Generally, I don't take either cart out to those type of courses, I will just load up a backpack and head out into the woods. I have played around with my easy cart in the woods and it worked okay. I got through it, it wasn't that big of a deal. But at the end of the day, this cart was essentially designed for traditional golf and then adapted for disc golf. Well, I think that's great. And especially since so many people already use these type of carts and adapt them themselves, it's a great idea to have a dedicated product for the disc golf world where you're ready to go and it's made with that in mind. But again, at the end of the day, this was designed for golf courses. So if you're playing courses that are open, relatively smooth, and don't have a ton of elevation, I think this thing would be a really great cart to use. 
but if you're going through any type of rugged terrain like the woods um, or steep hills, um, especially in the forest there, it's not something that I would want to try to use. This would be much better suited for open courses, golf courses that would be tremendous, of course, um, but any type of more open course that doesn't have anything too steep in terms of elevation should be just fine for this cart. One of the best things about it is that it has all the things that you can need. If you have the seat and the cooler bag that are aftermarket, but you can see in this video, if you have all those set up on this thing, you basically have it all. You have the seat, you have a cooler, you have your umbrella holder, you have a place to keep some stuff. It doesn't include access to any of the pockets or the water bottle holder. Um, on your bag and all that kind of good stuff. It rolls nice and smooth. The brake functions great. It keeps it in place when you don't want it to move around and it's easy to take the brake off and you're off on your way down the fairway. Overall, it was fun to test and it's definitely an interesting product. I'm glad to have a review of it out here on my channel to give you guys some more information about it. If you're interested, once again, go to pasdiscgolf.com to check out this cart. You can also find them on other major online retailers at this point as well. So definitely go check them out. Thanks very much for watching. I'll check you all very soon. Cheers.